Okay, welcome everyone uh, to our next video in the conditional probability series. Uh, this one is going to be about Bayes' theorem. Now, it's going to be about how to use Bayes' theorem on a tree diagram, but it's once you've already, you know, once you fill in the uh, the numbers on all the branches. So, in the next video, we'll probably do a word problem where you got to take all that information from the word problem and put it in onto the branches. But for right now. Let's just assume we've done the word problem, we've gotten all the numbers on the branches. So right now I want to label all of these branches and then we'll go ahead and do some base theorem. So let's let's label some of this stuff. I have the first branch, the A, in yellow, and I have the probability of A. It's gonna be 0.4. And we got the probability of A complement. Uh, 0.6. Remember, each branch has to add up to 1. So add up this branch and that branch has to add up to 1. All right, now this branch, this is the probability of D. But it's the probability of D given, in this case, you've already gone up the A branch. Okay. All right, then. And so the probability of D given you've gone up the A branch is 0.2. And then the probability of D complement, given you've gone up the A branch, is 0.8. So let me throw an A right here. All right, so again, this is how you'd fill out all, or uh, this is how you'd label all of the branches. Down here, this is the probability of D, but it's given that you've gone up the A complement branch. So that's the probability, oops, probability of D, given you've gone up the A branch. A complement branch, sorry, and that's going to be 0.35. And then the probability of D complement, given you've gone up the A complement branch, and that is 0.65. All right, let me just. Right, it's just annoying me, so I'm going to do this. Actually, probably didn't make it any better. Anyways, the probability of D complement, given you've gone up the A complement branch, 0.65. Okay, so our first question okay, would be, just do some practice ones, the probability of A and D. Okay. Now, using one of the probability or conditional probability formulas, the probability of A and D would be the probability of well, just multiply up the branches A and then D. So just looking at the tree diagram, it's going to be 0.4 then times 0.2. All right, so let me just do that first. It's going to be 0.2 from right here. So just multiply up the branches 0.4 and 0.2. You get 0.08. All right, but if you use the probability or conditional probability formula, it's going to be the probability of D given A times the probability of A. In which case, it's still 0.2 times 0.4, just still 0.08. All right, so again, using the tree diagram, sometimes you can do these without actually writing the formula out. But here is the official, or one of the official conditional probability formulas. All right, let's try another one. Let's do a Bayes theorem now. Let's find the probability of D given a, no, oh, we already know that. Let's find the probability of A complement given D. Okay. Well, if we were to do this just using regular conditional probability, that would be the probability of A complement and D, which we know how to find. That's going up the A complement branch. So that'd be going up here and then up here. All right. So this, multiply these two together, and that would be the probability of A complement and D. All right, divide that by the probability of D. Okay, so, I mean, this can be done without doing Bayes' theorem, but let's just go ahead and do Bayes' theorem, and then we'll do it uh, not using Bayes' theorem and see if we get the same answer. Okay, so we know we got Bayes' theorem when it wants us to find the pro uh, conditional probability, but when the branches have been reversed. So instead of going up A complement and then D, it actually wants us to find the probability of A complement given that you've 
gone up the D branch, which again, it's going in reverse. And Bayes' theorem says this is going to be the probability of D given A complement times the probability of A complement divided by the probability of D given A complement times the probability of A complement plus, because again, we, we originally would have to uh, divide by the probability of D. So here's the probability of D given A complement. Well, there's one more part for D, and that's the probability of D given A times the probability of A. So now you can see that, you know, in both ca or in all cases, the way you get to D right, is you got to go up either A or A complement. So here's the probability of going up A complement to get to D, and then this is the one getting to D going through A. All right, so let's uh, put all these numbers in. I'm going to have to move this over slightly. Give us some room. All right, so that's going to equal. Now, the probability of D given A complement, we've already found that. That's 0.35 times the probability of A complement, which is 0.6. All right, divide that by. And then, again, the probability of D given A complement, which is 0.35 times the probability of A complement, which is 0.6. Plus, and then we got the probability of D given A. D given A is 0 0.2. I'm getting all the numbers from up here again. So 0 0.2 times the probability of, was it just A? Probability of A, which is 0.4. All right, so let's multiply. I'm going to just move this over here. Multiply all those numbers together. 0.724, so 0.7, oops, 7.24. All right, so let me write this back up here. So probability of A complement given D, 0.724. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's. Oh, and I said let's do this without uh, without Bayes' theorem. So let's just see how you do this without Bayes. Okay, using the conditional probability formula, this would have been probability of A complement and D over the probability of D. And this is, again, the probability of A complement and D. Now, how do you write out the probability of D? Well, the probability of D, oh, D the D branch is second. So it's the probability of D is, well, the branches that get you to D. So, I mean, we're going to go up this branch here. So that's the probability of A and D. But that doesn't give you all of D because you can also go up A complement and then D. So that gets you the other part of D. Now in this case, these are all just intersections. And that's just multiplying up all the branches together. So if we do, oops, so if we do that, there's what we get. We'll get well the probability of a complement and D. What's A complement? It's 0.6. And D is then 0.35 over probability of A and D. Well, that's 0.4 and then, what is it? 0.2 plus the probability of A complement and D. So that's 0.6, 0.35. And this is exactly what we just got, 0.724. So most times, Bayes' theorem, if you can get at all the uh, your word problem into a tree diagram, you got a couple different ways of solving it. Uh, if you recognize it as a Bayes' theorem problem, go right ahead and do Bayes' theorem. Uh, if you can get in the tree diagram and you start with the conditional probability formula, that can also work. You've got a little bit of work to do with all these complements, but it can be done uh, either way. So there's how you would use Bayes' theorem using a tree diagram. In the next couple of videos, we'll probably do Bayes' theorem with some word problems.